Hey, my name is Martin and I just finished my final year at Imperial College London and now I'll show you what I did for my final year project. But first, have you ever wondered why it can take literally years to develop a AAA game? Well, one of the reasons is that every single object you interact with, every single character you can talk to, every single room you can walk through, has to be handcrafted by skilled 3D artists. And this process is very time consuming. But wouldn't it be nice if we could just take a couple of pictures of real world objects and let computer handle all the complexities uh, of generating the scene and representing the object in some way such that we can later on re-render it. And this is exactly the problem of novel view synthesis where we render or synthesize novel view of the object based on a couple of source images or reference images. Currently, the state-of-the-art method of novel view synthesis is called neural radiance fields or abbreviated as NERF. It uses a neural network to approximate the color and density of each point in 3D space. We can then re-render the scene by casting one ray per pixel and sampling points along the ray until we hit the surface. When the, the, the ray hits the surface, the whole ray and therefore the pixel will acquire the color of, of the point of the intersection. However, as you probably noticed, we had to sample a lot of points until we hit the surface and therefore there is a lot of inefficiency. Uh, in, in this rendering process. And that's where our solution comes, which is a depth network that proposes a short ranges along the ray where it thinks the, the possible array volume intersection will happen. And therefore we can sample on only these short ranges and therefore decrease the number of samples. So here you can see some results. On the left, you can see the original nerve implementation, which needs roughly 256 samples per ray to render one image. Um, and therefore it takes roughly 15 seconds to generate this one uh, single frame. On the right you can see our implementation with a depth network which needs only 16 samples per ray and therefore we managed to render it uh, in around one second. And in the middle you can see the really the, the necessity of, of the number of samples the nerve needs um, because if we try to decrease the number of samples to roughly 32 um, which takes two seconds to render this image um, you can see that the quality of image drops very very quickly. As you can see, we also try different objects. Um, the same same story. Um, we managed to decrease the rendering time uh, with only minimum minimal loss of quality. Uh, yes, there are some artifacts. Sometimes the depth network mispredicts the image, or mispredicts the depth, um, and that's uh, that's where you get these uh, these little white spots. But most of the time, the depth network predicts the depth correctly, and therefore uh, we managed to sample the correct range and uh, and render the image correctly or uh, with only minimal loss of quality, as I has already mentioned. Yes, and that's all from me. So thanks for, thanks for watching.